Hey everybody, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting on this big old tree trunk, right? It's a stump, a big old trunk and stump and you're probably saying to yourself, it must have been a really big tree. Well, it was. This stump reminds me of a book from my childhood called The Giving Tree and I'm sure all of you remember Shel Silverstein about a tree that gave unconditional love to this little boy throughout his entire life. So that reminds me of this, of our journey through the scripture today. It reminds me of a loving father that gave all of us unconditional love. How did he do that? By giving his only begotten son for us. So if God gave us his son unconditionally, then why would he give up on you now? I just want to encourage you again today God has not forgotten you. He's not forg He's not given up on you. Yes, things are tight and frustrating and stressful, even perhaps. Perhaps there's mail coming in that you can't um, do anything about. Bills are in the mailbox and people are calling and all kinds of things are happening and you're frustrated and you're disappointed. But I'm telling you, you cannot give up on God. He's got too much invested in you. How do I know that? He gave his only begotten son. That is how much he loved you. Unconditionally to invest everything he had, his son, in you. So that you could have life and have it more abundantly to the full. And so that everything overflows. So you have no lack and no need. And everything that you have need of is met. That's the investment he made in you. Well, listen, everybody, that is our um, encouraging word for today. I want to just also ask all of you to make sure you're checking out my Facebook page because I'm going to be um, making sure that these scriptures are sent there every day for you this week because this is our journey and we're going to do this together. And also go to pdfministries.com uh, and register for this Saturday as we have Dominique Walker, who's going to bring you an amazing uh, opportunity to take your spare change and invest it. Listen, love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next day, the third day on a journey through the Word with me this week. Blessings.